town of Scholven in West Germany, Faber Oil contracted the Belgian heavy haulage and crane hire contractor Sarens to lift two giant columns on their foundation. On the 31st of July 1991, the first column, with a length of 106 meters and a weight of 467 metric tons, was lifted by two 500 tons DMAC cranes and placed on foundation. Both cranes were relocated for the erection of the second, even bigger column. This time, due to the enormous length of 112 meters and a weight of 634 metric tons, it was decided to erect the column in two sections. Both DMAC TC3000 cranes equipped with 54 meter main boom were connected to the main lifting trunnions 44 meter above the base ring. The length of the bottom section was 88 meters and weighed 513 metric tons. With a lifting capacity of 340 tons per crane at 11.5 meter radius, this was just within the 75% of the rated lifting capacity. To avoid any overloading of any one crane, an accurate angle measuring instrument was fitted at the base ring. With this instrument, the horizontal level of both lifting trunnions could be monitored during the entire lifting operation. With boom lengths of only 54 meter, it meant though that the column had to be swung in between both boom heads when it reached its vertical position. In a one hour continuous operation, the giant column was slowly lifted into the vertical. With a clearance of only 10 centimeters, the giant column was swung in between both boom heads. Suspended by two 500 tons DMAC cranes, the bottom section was slowly and precisely lowered down over the foundation bolts. Special guides were screwed on top of a number of foundation bolts to help the base ring to be lowered down on the concrete foundation. To transport the 530 tons heavy bottom section under reach of both cranes, Sarens used its state-of-the-art computer-controlled self-propelled transporters. These transporters offer remarkable maneuverability. Both lifting tackles were released and the vertical alignment of the bottom section was checked and adjusted within allowable tolerances, well after the foundation balls were tightened. Now preparations were made for an even more challenging task. To install the 121 tons heavy top section of the column on top of the 88 meter high bottom section. At Sarens headquarters in Belgium, detailed rigging plans were worked out. In order to execute these complex transport and erection projects, Sarens is a team of engineers who will, after a visit to the job site, prepare the detailed plans to execute a project successfully. The engineering department makes extensive use of computer-aided design drafting techniques. To lift the 23 meter long top section to a height of 88 meters, both cranes were relocated and rigged with 78 meters main boom and 42 meters flying jib. With a 
lifting capacity of 85 tons at 25 meter radius, each crane could reach to an incredible height of over 120 meters. Main boom and jib were assembled and the lifting block was reefed to meet the required 85 tons lifting capacity. Slowly, the boom was raised in vertical position, with the main block above the top lifting trunnions. Skid plates were fitted in each trunnion to facilitate the turning of each sling when the top section is lifted into the vertical. Both 500 tons DMAC cranes were rigged with an outrigger base of 14.5 meters and fitted with 100 tons superlift counterweight. At the top of the bottom section, special flanges and guide plates were welded to the column shell in order to guide the top section accurately in position. It is obvious that slender columns of this length are affected by wind as can be seen from the 106 meter high tower which was erected a few days earlier. Again, the angle measuring instrument was fitted to monitor possible overloading of any one crane during the lifting procedure. Welding machines and other tools were lifted to the platform on top of the bottom section in order to start welding as soon as the top section has landed. The tail crane slings were prepared and connected to the tail hook and the angle measuring instrument was calibrated and checked. Both main lifting slings were connected to the top lifting trunnions and all systems were checked again before the lifting procedure started. On the 6th of August, the top section was slowly lifted from the self-propelled Kamach transporter. Then, the computer steered transporters were maneuvered from underneath the top section. They offer unknown maneuverability and can move loads in spots as long as the cargo and trailer fit in the available space. Oh. 
now the top section is finally lifted into the vertical while the tail crane slowly lowers the bottom. Before the top section is lifted to its final height, ladders and platforms were fitted and preparations for the welding work at 88 meters height took place. Suspended by both fly chips at a height of over 120 meters, the top section gradually climbed the sky. When the load finally reached its required height, the most difficult part of the operation started, slowing both cranes gradually with its load above the 88 meter high bottom section. The Siren's rigging superintendent had taken position on the platform at the top of the bottom section and instructed both crane operators by means of walkie-talkies. Slowly but securely, the 120 tons load was maneuvered above the flanges of the bottom section and gradually lowered down and secured. A well-engineered and complex rigging project came to an end successfully. Remember, Siren's is there to serve your projects as well.